Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be talking about the top six reasons why I love Merida, Mexico so much. The number six reason why I love it out here so much is because of its natural beauty. This is my backyard, and um, again, I got a tree with I don't know what the hell this is, some other fruit back there. We got limes, we got oranges, we got butterflies right behind the camera. We got, you know, birds chirping away everywhere, all kinds of things. Again, this is just my backyard. And I'm in, a, you know, the biggest city in the Yucatan Peninsula. And um, once you exit the city limits and you go around, you know, um, just the outskirts of the city, you automatically just, again, you're, whether you go a little north of here, you're at the beach, you go a little south, you're in the jungle, you go, um, you know, towards uh, other directions, and you're in, in Mayan ruins, more beaches and so on and so forth and um, there's just you know so much you know beautiful fauna out here so many beautiful you know um, animals nature all kinds of things it's 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 uh, it's an amazing place to, to be at if you're a nature lover again I'm surrounded by nature just out here literally in the middle of the city there's uh, you know there's tons of trees and fauna everywhere you guys see me walking down Paseo Montejo all the time it's full of trees even when I'm in the middle of the city it's all full of um, awesomeness again there goes another bird all kinds of birds if you're at night you see owls you see bats um, you know during the day you're looking up at the sky you see blue skies and clouds at nighttime you get to see the stars um, it's just a beautiful thing it really is an amazing thing and uh, you know to me I have a uh, I have uh, gained a greater appreciation for nature just living out here and being out here it's it's uh, it's an incredible thing and uh, to me I love it it's brought me closer to nature and uh, even when you're just going to the markets you know you're just you know you see so many people that are just um, you know selling so many fruits and vegetables and uh, and uh, all kinds of things that they grown themselves or they make themselves and uh, it's it's all part of uh, just being so close to nature all the time you, you know one of the things that I think about all the time, or I used to think about more and more in the U.S., you know, was the fact that if you, um, you know, if, if, you know, whole economic thing were to crash and, you know, we're supposed to have like, this big ap apocalyptic situation, you know, one of the things in where, you know, first world countries lack is the fact that they don't have the farming infrastructure or, you know, the, you know, just literally like um, their connection with nature has been cut off. And so when you're, when I move out here and I live out here, I know that no matter what the hell happens, you know, the, the market is always going to be there, you know, full of fruits and vegetables and people are going to be selling that. And, you know, people are growing stuff in their backyards and everything and everything, you know, anything and everything in between when it comes to that. So to me, nature and uh, the beauty of just being out here in, uh, in this, amazing amazing place full of natural beauty it's it's a, a big selling point all right so that's my number six reason my number five reason by the way yeah, I made a little little note here oh hopefully you guys didn't see too much of it my number five reason is freedom and liberty I come from the US of A and um, you know over there a lot of you guys can already relate to the fact that you know we have lost our freedom and liberty and every day we're losing more freedom and more liberty whether it comes, you know, in the form of, uh, you know, the banking system or it comes in the form of censorship, which, by the way, I keep getting censored, you know, whether it's on YouTube, you, you know, you guys know of all the censorship that's happening everywhere. Um, before I continue with my list, you know, one of the main reasons why I'm making today's episode is because I haven't made a Mexico episode in a while and I wanted to make a Mexico episode because it, I haven't made one in just like a little over a week and all of a sudden my channel has been greatly affected because, hey, you know, I decided to, you know, I've, I've been talking about truth, talking about, you know, uh, Bitcoin, talking about all these other unsavory topics that they don't want me to talk about. So I decided to make a Mexico episode today, literally just for, you know, an experimental reason to see how well it does and how, how YouTube and Google receives it and all this other stuff. But again, you know, just the whole censorship aspect of things, you know, um, it's affecting us all in, in all kinds of shapes and, and you know, all kinds of... Uh, ways and um in fact you know just um yesterday's video alone you know I've, i had like six comments that i see on my end but they never show up so that everyone else can see it because again for whatever reason it's censored and a lot of these comments don't even make any sense i know anyways i know mexico really has nothing to do with that per se but the fact that you know 
there's so much freedom and liberty out here is such a major component as to why I want to live out here. You know, out here I can sell stuff out of the front of my house. I can sell services. I can do all kinds of things. I don't need licenses. I don't need permission from the government. I don't need permission from, from any other entity, um, other, other corporate ent entities or other businesses and so on and so forth. Here you can be an entrepreneur and do whatever you want. And that goes, you know, pretty much for anything, you know, right here, you know, I have been, uh, thanks to my girlfriend, she's been taking me to a lot of holistic doctors and holis holistic um, pharmacies that, again, they're not allowed in the U.S. and other first world countries for many, many reasons. But out here, you know, holistic medicine is categorized, you know, right along the same lines as regular medicine. And you can set up shop and, you know, and sell whatever it is you're going to sell. And uh, because of um, a lot of the holistic medicine I've been receiving in the last several months, a lot of... Uh, you know, medical things that I've had wrong with me, we all got things wrong, you know, I'm fine. But um, they've all been going away and getting cured, all basically because I've been exposed and have access to holistic medicine that I didn't back home. And I'm not talking about whole food shit, I'm talking about real holistic medicine. And um, again, I know I, I was talking about freedom and liberty, but I think that that goes one with the other. You know, the fact, again, the freedom and liberty for us humans to be humans. We don't, if you don't want to use a bank out here, you don't need to use a bank. If you don't want to go to the doctor, you want to go to a holistic doctor, you can do that. If you want to, you know, fucking sell shit on the, on the, on the side of the street, you can sell whatever you want to sell. You know, and, and so on and so forth. You know, you, you have the freedom of speech. You have the freedom of, uh, of, um, of uh, doing li literally basically anything you want outside of hurting anyone else. As long as you're not hurting or bothering anyone else in, in any, you know, substantial way, you're good to go. You can do anything you want. Which, in my definition, that is a definition of freedom and liberty. You know, for us to be able to live the lives that we want to live. So, out here, I get to do that. All right? And again, by the way, I would love to discuss that this one particular um, reason on my list of all the reasons that I love Mexico. Um, seriously. If you, if you uh, disagree with me in any way, shape, or form, let's have a discussion. Hopefully, Google and YouTube won't uh, censor your comment. Number four, the culture. The culture, the culture, the culture, the culture, the culture. Every single thing about the culture that we, as you know, um, that we as um, you know, immigrants to this country know of. You know, all the beautiful colors and the art and the food and so many other, you know, just so many things about the people and all this stuff is great. But you know, there's just so, so many things about the culture that are really, you know, kind of hard to describe unless you actually live here and you come from somewhere else. But you know, just the fact that. You know, at first, you know, coming from uh, from the U.S. and coming from a, you know, very, very, very capitalistic mentality. And then I come out here and like, let's just say I want to go to the store and on Google, it says they're open at 8 o'clock a.m. I show up and they're not even open till like 11 a.m. And that's because, eh, you know, that's when they woke up or whatever. They just, you know, um, had an appointment with something else that day and they just wanted to open up that day. Whatever. The, the laissez-faire... Um, literally um, the laissez-faire way of life that they have out here where it's just um, again there's no strict anything so that's part of their culture you know like I'm, I'm Hispanic you know I'm, I'm Cuban and we have you know you know that running joke that all um, Hispanics are always running late they're always you know gonna be there when they're gonna be there and all that stuff well living out here in Mexico living in an actual Latin American country holy crap they take it to another level they really do and at first it was a little bit annoying but now it's so cool it's so awesome because again you know everyone has that same attitude and sure it can get annoying but if you are coming here to this country with a capitalistic mentality and you're here and you want to build businesses or you want to grow or you want to do all these other things you have such a enormous advantage over everybody else because again everyone else is like man you know with that kind of attitude and if you come out here with a completely different attitude of uh you know get shit done like i have and others man you get shit done out here so that's like a major 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 advantage you know and a major awesomeness you know part of the culture here and again you know when I, when I, uh, when I, when I, as I was here last year and I got to experience all kinds of holidays, you know, whether it was a day of the dead or just, you know, Christmas and, um, you know, just every single holiday, you know, um, Mexican Independence Day, you name it. By the way, shout out to everyone out there that's going to be celebrating the 4th of July. Um, you know, just shout out to you guys. But um, yeah, regardless, you know what I mean? Like I was saying, you know, just everything about the culture, the way the people are, you know, Mexico is one of the happiest places on earth. It literally is. I know. Don't don't be listening to the fake news. It really is. 
you know, so the, the people out here, you know, it's all about family first. It's all about living life first. It's all about all these other things. Again, Mexico is one of the hardest, if not the hardest working people in all of the world. You know, the people out here work the hardest, you know, of like literally any other country out there by far. You know, they, they, they kick everyone's ass. But yet everyone out here lives life. They enjoy life. You know, it's all about, yeah, work, 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 work. But hey, you know, there has to be plenty of time to crack open that beer, do a little fucking barbecue and just enjoy life with friends and family and loved ones. And, and that to me is amazing. I mean, you know, just the fact that, you know, you're walking down the street here and you see so many people are constantly holding hands or with their family and all lovey dovey and, and all kinds of, you know, just a very, very family friendly atmosphere. And again, you know, it's very family, fam it's very family friendly, but it's also very R rated and X rated. So it's, it's for everybody. But you know, the thing out here is that, you know, for the most part, you know, as, as even though everyone here is like super hardcore Catholic and super hardcore religious, you know, they don't they don't really you know they, they know again how to separate one from the other and um, and that's like an amazing thing about it. one of the surprising things about here is just really how the culture of you know the friends and the family and just living life and taking care of your neighbor and all that good stuff is is such a part of the culture for real look I've told you guys this many times before I've lived all over the US I've lived in many many places and uh, and then you know here living in Mexico this is the first time in my life in which I actually know all of my neighbors for the most part you know no matter where the fuck I lived in the US I barely got to know anyone and it's not because you know I don't want to you know get to know these people it's just you know just the way it is most people keep to themselves they're very private they don't want to you know interact with others and so on and so forth and I know I know it, it's not the same everywhere but that is a little bit more of the normal in the US than it is you know um, than it, than it is not and so out here it's a complete opposite out here it's like I, I know everyone everyone knows each other and um, it's 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 um sure there's a lot of people that are uh, very chismoso which is like nosy you know but again you know if one thing is uh, being nosy and, and you all treat each other like friends and family and care for each other and another thing is being nosy and uh, you know not giving a fuck about each other you know what I mean so that's, that's just like a big thing here because again sure my neighbor could be no he's no nosy but if something were to happen, you know what I mean? They would, you know, do whatever possible in order to help. You know what I mean? It's like that kind of thing. So that's like a major, major component, you know, to, to just living out here that I love so much. All right. Now, reason number three, the food. I mean, the food. I mean, do I really need to expand on this? We already know that Mexico has some of the most amazing food on planet Earth. And that's just the food you've been exposed to. If you've actually, ever actually been to Mexico and lived in Mexico, or not, not even lived, but just been to Mexico and eaten in Mexico, my God, my goodness, you really do understand what I mean. Because it's a lot more than what we think it is. It's, they take it to another level. The food and the cuisine out here is beyond amazing. I myself am a trained chef. I've been doing that for a good majority of my life. And uh, being out here and seeing the you know the technic the technical abilities of the cuisine out here you know on top of the simplicity on top of the ingredients on top of the amazing you know cookery that goes on on a on a day-to-day -day basis you know no matter where the hell you are in mexico man they really do take their food serious out here and um most people have no idea how awesome it is because you know they're not exposed to it but if you're into the, the whole culinary world at, at all in any shape or form, man, you come out here and you really, really, really understand, you know, what what you know what the whole food culture is all about here. It's um, the whole farm to table thing. That's that's everywhere. Um, you know, the whole um, you know taking pride in your ingredients is everywhere. The whole thing of uh, you know using complicated techniques, you know, from French cookery um, is is all here you know um, you know just it's so much it's so much you know plus all the mix of all the cultures you know everything you know from the Spanish you know coming out here and then you know all the Indian cultures that were already here plus all the other cultures that have come through here whether it's been African or um, you know in, in a lot of cases you know um, a lot of Arabian you know when you're looking at tacos a pastor tacos a pastor is like one of the most famous dishes that they have out here but again if you're just looking at you know just the a pastor thing you know that 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 giant meat thing that they're always shaving meat from you know that comes from the Middle East and you know literally the people from the Middle East came out here and they you know um, they, they had their influence on 
you know the Mexican food out here as well so you know just with that you know there's so much more you know to be said again the French were out here they had a lot of influence uh, and so on and so forth plus we already know that if you're in the US for the most part there's a Mexican that's probably cooking your food no matter what fucking restaurant it is and a lot of them end up coming back here and again they have all this humongous base knowledge to even further expand the food culture out here and it's to me the way I'm looking at the growth of Mexico as a whole I mean again the food culture is only getting started I mean for reals so again if you're a foodie and you love food and you love everything about that this is the place to be I mean it's always I mean the food out here has always been incredible and to me the way I, I see that future outlook of the food and culture in that sense it's, it's only gonna get better so yeah number two the number two reason why I personally love being out here the people are smart as fuck like for reals where I'm from we're just a bunch of smart asses out here they're actually intelligent you hear me talking about this shit all the time where I'm talking whether I'm talking to my girlfriend's grandma or I'm talking to the fucking taxi driver or I'm talking to, to, to the to the lowly guy selling fucking avocados on the side of the street for a few pesos pennies whatever everyone out here is extremely educated and extremely educated on financials on history on so many things and because they are see again the nature thing and because they are so extremely highly educated out here well i can have a conversation with just about anyone which was one of the main complaints that i had in the u.s look i love the u.s i'm american and the whole fucking thing but again you know i, I could never have a lot of the conversations that i have with you guys on youtube with regular people in, in the u.s because either a they didn't get it b they got insulted c they didn't want to have a discussion they would rather they would rather talk about the fucking Kardashians. So D, I mean, you know, I'm sure you guys have a lot of fucking, uh, you know, um, problems with that too as well. That's why a lot of you guys uh, tend to be online and looking at videos like this and so on and so forth because you guys get it. Well, anyways, out here, you get to talk to just about anyone and um, and everyone is very, very well versed on, you know, again, the things that are going on around the world, in their own country, um, with the economy and so on and so forth. Sure sure you know it's not like you know they all have this humongous base knowledge like let's say me or you guys or so on and so forth but again you can actually have a conversation with them you can teach them or talk to them about new concepts new ideas new things and they get it why because they have such a huge base knowledge already of education that you know takes them you know so much further and allows them to think as, as, you know and, and again you know we are used to in our countries where they tell us how to think and they show us how to think and out here not so much just yet out here people people are still you know taught to you know think for themselves people are still thought to question people are still you know taught out here to read a book go to the museum and so on and so forth and uh, that's what makes it so awesome out here that you know everyone uh, you know everyone is educated and uh, and, and, you know, it just allows for so many more things. You know, it, it allows for, you know, the government not to be taking advantage of the people as much and, and just so many more other things. But again, just the fact that you can have a conversation with anyone, just with just, you know, with just about anyone about just about anything. That to me is incredible. And I love it. And now for the drum roll. The one reason, the number one reason why I love Mexico so much, why I think Mexico is awesome and amazing, and especially this part of Mexico, which is Merida, Mexico, is literally the fact that it's cheap. Super crazy cheap. It's amazingly cheap. In fact, Merida, Mexico specifically is one of the cheapest places on earth. It really is because, you know, me and my girlfriend, you know, we watch videos of people that travel all around the world in places that, you know, like India, Africa, Sri Lanka, you know, um, other parts of Southern Asia, other parts of the world, you know, Eastern Europe that, you know, when uh, looked at when it comes to, you know, just the pricing of regular things and pricing of food, pricing of uh, just everything, you know. You, a, lot of, a lot of these places, you know, you would think that they are cheaper than even Mexico or cheaper, you know, even cheaper, you know, some of the cheapest places on earth. But when you actually do the math and you actually, you know, you know, do the calculations, you know, Mexico and especially again, Medina, Mexico still tops the list as to being one of the cheapest places to live on earth. Because again, you know, my own girlfriend, you know, and just like a lot of Mexicans out here, they complain about, you know, the fact that yeah sure it's cheap but they also don't make that much money and it's like this whole fucking thing and like whatever but when they're exposed to 
you know what what's you know what's really going on around the world as well they're like oh crap wait a minute it's actually pretty good living out here it's actually cheaper living here than it is in fucking mumbai india or in whatever you know what i mean wherever the fuck you want to pick and so that's like a major 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 selling point because you know a lot of people you know out here you know they're expats or they travel abroad and they earn dollars or euros and they get to travel the world and, or, or you know just live somewhere else like me i like to live out here you know for you know all these you know things that i mentioned in my list but basically also just the fact that it's so cheap out here where i can earn my u.s dollars and these u.s dollars go so much further here than they do anywhere else and that you know what i mean is a major major reason why you know i love living out here because you know my quality of life is so much better than it has ever ever been because again i might not be earning as much as i have before in other points in my life but does just just the earning uh just the money that i earn is 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 like 10 times more than what it would go for in, in the u.s so here out here you know i, I can afford so much more and it's, it's not just about things being cheap but it's like you can you know i go to the museum i went to the museum this this past saturday and it was free you know there's so many things that are also free or almost free and um you know that's another thing too you know you can literally go to the beach and it's only going to cost you five us dollars total you know what i mean that's and that's taking the bus you know that's taking like every you know what i mean that's like actually spending money but for the most part you're not going to spend much money if you want to go to the beach in the u.s you already know it's going to cost you a lot of fucking money even if you know unless you're living on the beach you know but for the most part it's going to cost you money you know even if it's just paying for fucking parking for your car i mean i'm just saying so and, and even if you want to go to a museum if you want to you know get exposed to so many other things you know everything just costs money out here you know things might cost but they're not you know that your dollar just goes so much further even your peso even if you're just earning pesos they go so much more further than they do anywhere else because again no matter where you are in the world you're going to be earning something relative to what you know the economy is and so therefore you know that takes into place but out here even the earning potential is increasing instead of decreasing like in a lot of other parts of the world you know there's so much more um when it comes to you know the growth of this nation um that hasn't yet to get started you know that this nation is only grow is only beginning to start growing as other nations around the world and other other parts of the world are deteriorating as a dollar and the euro fall as so many other things are falling apart everywhere you know other parts of the world are going to be uh, gaining the other parts of the world are going to be um, taking advantage of this, and I, and Mexico is a major country in which they're going to be taken advantage of because for the time being, you know, your dollars and your euros are going to go further out here. Once a dollar and the euro fall, well, again, you know, um, Mexico is sitting on some of the largest silver reserves on the planet. They got gold, they got other natural resources. Plus, again, they're they're only beginning to start growing and expanding on the world stage and that is all gonna literally be you know affecting everything across the board when it comes to being in Mexico so you know again just the economy alone the economy the cost of living is one of the, is my number one reason for being out here because you know even though I talk about freedom and liberty and I talk about all these other things a lot you know at the end of the day you know we all need a home we all need a place to live no matter if we travel the world and travel a lot like I do um, you still need a home and to me this is home you know if I want to go visit family I can go to Miami I can just you know go visit come back here but if I want to live in Miami uh, you already know you know I gotta work 17 thousand hours a day just to barely afford you know a, a room you know that's about the size of that hut right there by the way this is just like a fucking shed but it's just the reality of things you know so anyways guys I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, you know, today's video was a little bit of an experiment. I just had to make a Mexico video and um, I just, I'm not going to be, you know, out and about with my camera and I'm not going to be out and about to make more Mexico videos, uh, I think, for the remainder of the week. So I decided to make this video because, again, I know YouTube and Google are kind of messing with my channel a little bit and I just want to see what the hell is up. So I wanted to make one of these. Plus, I know a lot of you guys have subscribed and are in tune to my channel basically you know to watch mexico videos and not my other content so you know i want to make sure that i'm also creating content for you guys and again you know i got tons and tons of stuff to talk about here in mexico and tons of videos that i want to make about living out here in mexico um and i'm gonna you know continuously be making them and uh you know um it's, it's gonna take a little bit more time sometimes I, I can make a lot of them sometimes i can't it all depends there's so many factors that are involved in making these videos it's not as easy as i make them out to be i love doing this stuff 
but you know just being 100 real and uh anyways guys i think that's about it we made a very long episode as you guys can see no interruptions today because it's not as hot because the weather is freaking amazing but it is about to rain so i better hurry the fuck up before i get soaking wet out here that's what she said so guys i want to give you all a big shout out all my patrons i want to give a big thank you to all my patrons out there i want to give a big pay, uh, shout out to everyone that contributes to this channel whether it's monetarily or whether it's um you know through thumbs ups through likes through th thumbs downs through comments through um you know you know just anything anything that you guys do is all greatly appreciated when you subscribe when you share the videos it's all just wow you know what i mean like i'm always humbled by it and it's amazing and i really gotta start working on this outro because i really suck at this but anyways guys without further ado i'm gonna get the fuck out of here because i got a million things to do so please don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and please stay awesome and enjoy the rest of your week and um i hope that you enjoyed this video because i enjoyed making it as always all right guys peace out and enjoy your day your life your whatever peace